In this video, we'll show you how to create an online live class using Google Meet and Tutor LMS. We'll need Tutor LMS Pro to connect Google Meet with our WordPress LMS website. You can get Tutor LMS from the link in this video's description. So, let's start. As you can see, we've logged into our WordPress dashboard. We installed and activated Tutor LMS Pro on this site. If you need any help with creating a WordPress website or installing Tutor LMS, you can find the necessary tutorials in the video description. Now let's see how to create online live classes with Google Meet using Tutor LMS. We have a few courses on our website. Here are our courses. So to create online live classes using Google Meet, we need to enable the Google Meet add-on. In Tutor LMS Pro, you'll have access to all the premium add-ons. So once you have Tutor LMS Pro, just find the Google Meet and enable this add-on. Once it's enabled, you can click on Courses. And here we can see Google Meet is over here. And this is the screen that you'll see. You'll have your website URL over here. We're going to get back to this later on. We're going to first go to Google. And now here we're going to search for Google Developer Console. Okay, now we're going to hit Enter on keyboard. And this is the site where we want to go, Google Developer Console. And here it is. So the first time you're accessing the Google Cloud Services, you will see this message. Here you have to choose your country. You have to agree with the terms of services and also select if you would like to get email updates. So once you're done, we can click on the Agree and Continue button. Okay, so now we're ready to create a project. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this Create Project button. And we're going to enter the name of our project. We're going to call it Tutor Live Class. Okay. Here you can choose your organization. If you're not sure which organization to choose from, um, you can leave it over here. And then click on the Create button. Now we are going to wait for the service to create the project. We can see that our project has been created. We can either refresh this page or we can click on select project over here. So if I click on it, you can see this will be selected. Here we can see the dashboard of the project we just created. So after it's created, we are going to click on APIs and services. And we can directly click on enable APIs and services from here, or we can just simply click on it. And it's going to bring us to this page. And once we're here, we can click on this Enable APIs and Services, okay? So we're going to click on it. And now you can search for the APIs and services you are looking for. So for our purpose, we need Google Calendar. So you can search for Google Calendar over here, or you can find it easily over here. So I'm going to click on Google Calendar API. So once this is selected, we can click on this Enable button. Okay. So once everything is done over here, we are going to click on this Create Credentials button. And then from here, you can select your API. So we want the Google Calendar API. It's already selected, so you don't need to do anything else. In the next section, you can see it's written, what data will you be accessing? So here we are going to click on User Data, and then we are going to click on Next. So now we're in the OAuth Consent section. Here we have to insert app information. First, we need to type in the app name. When it comes to app name, you can set any name you wish. But sometimes you might face an error when you click on the Save and Continue button. Apparently, using the same name for the app name and the project name solves the particular issue we were facing. That seemed to work for us. So you can also try this way. I'm going to insert Tutor Life class over here. Okay, then we are going to insert a support email address. And then here you can upload a logo if you want, but we're not going to do that. We are going to insert a developer contact information email address. So here you can actually add multiple email addresses, but we only need one. Next, we're going to click on save and continue. Next, you're going to see the scopes, which is optional. So we are not going to add or remove any scopes from here. And we're going to just leave it as it is. Next, we're going to scroll down and click on save and continue. Next, we're going to see this OAuth client ID. From here, you can see there's a drop down. We can click on it and then we have to select web application. Okay, now there's an option to name our web client. 
Now you can see it says this name is only used to identify the client in the console and will not be shown to end users. So we can add in a name if we want or we can leave it as it is. If we scroll down, here's an option that says authorized JavaScript origins. You can add your URI over here. And the other option is authorized redirect URIs. This is what we want. So we're going to click on this add URI and this is going to appear. Now we'll have to go back to our tutor LMS site. Okay, from here we can now copy our URI and go back to our Google Developer Console and we can insert our URI. Now we can click on the create button. Now you can see it says download this credential information in JSON format. This is always available for you on the credentials page. So within this credential page, you can always find this credential information in JSON format. So we are going to download this. So let's click on this download button. And you can see the download is complete. Now we are going to click on done. Okay, so we have set up our Google Calendar API. Now let's connect it with our Tutor LMS website. Now here you can see there's an option that says drag and drop your JSON file here. So we're going to click on this button and choose the file that we just downloaded. Okay, so our Google Meet account has been activated. Now we can see there are more options over here, active meeting, expired meeting and other options, but currently there are no meetings created. Now let's learn how you can create an online live class using Google Meet on Tutor LMS. To create the meetings, we can uh, go to courses and select our course where we want to add our online live class. And we're going to click on these three dots and click on edit. And here we have a course, which is WordPress for beginners, master WordPress. So now we're going to scroll down to the course builder. Now, if you want to create an online live meeting with Google Meet, there are two processes. You can either add it from the course builder. So if I expand this, you can see there's a button that says meet live lesson, or you can scroll down and you can find this option over here, connect your students using Google Meet you can create a meeting from here as well. So first, I'm going to take a look at how we can create a meeting um, using the course builder. So expand the topic where you want to add your online live class and click on this meet live lesson button. Then this small window will pop up. Here you can enter your meeting name, meeting summary, meeting time, select the time zone, and finally create the meeting. So let's go ahead and enter a meeting name. So I kept it simple. I called it online live class one. Now let's enter a summary. Okay, so we have a summary now. Now as for the meeting time, we can select when this class will take place. So we can simply click on this input box and a calendar will appear over here. You can see we have been given a choice and we can select when our meeting will take place. So first I have to select the date. So let's select 21st of this month. Next, we have to choose the time when this meeting will start. If I click over here, I can choose the time of this meeting. So this small box will pop up over here and I can select the time. So using this slider, I can choose the time. Okay, after that, we can also choose the minutes, but I want to keep it simple and I want it to be only 12 p.m. If I click on done, it will set this time or I can click on this now button and it will choose this immediate time. Okay, but I don't want that. I just want it to start in 12 p.m. So I'm going to click on the done button and then I can choose the duration of this meeting. So I'm going to choose the same date over here. And as for the time, I'm going to choose 1 p.m. So the class will be only one hour. Okay, and now I can select my time zone. So from here, go ahead and choose your time zone. Next, you can see there's an option that says add enrolled students as attendees. So if you want enrolled students to appear as attendees, keep this checked. Otherwise, deselect it. So now I'm going to click on the create meeting button to create this meeting. As you can see, the meeting has been created and it's added over here. We can also drag this meeting and drop it anywhere we like. The Tutor LMS Course Builder allows the drag and drop feature, okay? So that is how you can create Meet Live Lessons using the Course Builder, okay? So you can create as many live lessons as you want. 
Now, I'm going to fold this and let's check how you can create the online live meeting using this particular Google Meet option. You can simply click on this button and the same interface is going to appear. So let's give our meeting a name. So I'm going to call this online live class two. I'm going to enter the summary. Great, we also have a summary. Now let's click over here to insert the meeting time. And I'm going to choose the 22nd of this month. As for time, we're going to select the same time. That is 12 p.m. And the meeting is going to last for one hour. Okay, now I'm going to choose the time zone. Okay, now I'm going to click on create meeting. Now you can see the meeting has been created. Okay, now you can already see there's an option to start the meeting just by clicking over here. But we're going to see how we can do it in another way. Okay, so we have created two meetings over here. One for this particular topic and the other one is from here. Now, before proceeding to the next step, we are going to save our course. So let's scroll up and let's click on this update button to save our changes. Okay, let's take a look at our Google Meet settings. To access our Google Meet settings, we are going to click on Google Meet. And over here, you can see already our meetings are added. We can start the meeting by clicking on this button. But first, let's take a look at these settings. Over here, we can see there's a bunch of settings where we can change the default time zone, default reminder time. So when you would like to be reminded before the meeting. So you can choose five minutes, 15 minutes or 30 minutes before the meeting starts. So I have chosen 30 minutes. I want to be notified 30 minutes before the meeting starts or our online live class starts. Then we can choose the default event status, send updates, and we can also choose the transparency, uh, the OPEC blocks time on calendar. This currently is selected. We can go with the default option or you can choose the transparent does not blocks time. So it's up to you and also the visibility on calendar. So I'm going to select the default options. Okay, so that goes for the settings. Now, how can you start a meeting? Let's say you are an instructor and you want to start the online live class. Now for that, you can simply go to this Google Meet option over here and it's going to bring you to the active meeting screen. Now, if you guys are seeing an error, which usually looks like this, now, if you guys are facing this error, what you can simply do is go to add-ons. And here's the add-on. So let's scroll down and here's the Google Classroom integration. Sometimes you might face this error if this add-on is disabled. So I'm going to enable it. Okay. And now I'm going to go to Google Meet. And now you can see everything is okay. Now, if you still see this error message over here, what you can do is click on this Go to Google's consent screen button, select one of your Google accounts that's connected to your tutor LMS site and allow this application, this Google Calendar application. Now this should solve this error. Now Google Meet is a third party integration for tutor LMS. In the future, there might be changes which might cause issues when you're connecting tutor LMS with Google Meet. So if that happens, don't panic, just simply contact tutor LMS support to solve those issues. We will provide the link of Tutor LMS support page in this video's description. So after you fix that error, here you can see there are two live classes, okay? If you want to start a live class, you can simply click on this start meeting button. Okay, now this is going to take you to the Google Calendar app. This is the screen that you're going to see. Here we have online live class one, online live class two. We can click on this live class and here you can click on this invite via link button and it's going to create a link. You can copy this link and share it with your students so that they can join, but they can easily join from the front end and I'm going to show you how that is done later on. Okay, so if we want, we can click on join with Google Meet and we can simply start the meeting from here, okay? Um, it's going to ask us if we want to allow the camera or continue without camera. So I'm going to select this option. And now you can see the meeting has already started. Now, if you have students, they are going to join this class and you can start your online live class. So that is really simple. Now, as for the second class, we can click on the start meeting button and it's going to bring me to the same place. Here I can click on this online live class two. 
And I can do the same for here, invite via link. So I can click over here and copy this link and share it with students. So that's one way for you to invite your students to this meeting. Or I can simply click on this join with Google Meet button and start our meeting immediately. Now that is how you can create meeting and start meeting as an instructor. Now what about students? How can the students join the meeting? So let's go ahead and take a look at the front end. Okay, so here is our site and we're going to click on courses. And this is our course, we are going to click on it. And if we scroll down, here we can already see online live class one on the course content. Now you can see we cannot see the other meeting or the online live class two that we created, but that's no issue because once we enroll, we will see it, okay? So first let's enroll. Now I have enrolled. Here we can already see online live class two, which is over here. We can start the meeting by clicking on this continue to meeting very easily. So the meetings that you create through the Google Meet option inside the course builder will appear over here, okay? Now let's click on this start learning button and see how everything works. Now, if I click on this online live class one, the students are going to see this section. Here they can see when the meeting will start. There's the hours, minutes, and seconds. Now, students can join the meeting just by clicking on this join meeting button. And you can see it brings them to the Google Meet page. Here they can attend the online live class, just like that. So that is how you can use Google Meet to create online live classes. Now you can create as many online live classes as you want and your students can join in. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.